Hey guys, welcome back to VKQ Interest in Adventures. Today it's time for another video game pickup video. I know you guys are going, Keith, we can't see your lovely face. What's going on? Well, I decided to do this one just a little different because I don't have a camera person today. So, let's get to it. Let's show you my video game and video game related, related item pickups. So, first thing up is I got these Mario construction playset toys picked up for $3 at Goodwill. Check that out. Got all sorts of different characters in here and yeah, three bucks, gonna be worth it. Next thing I have is a book. I got Donkey Kong Country Returns and it's a guy book. Now what, I got this for 50 cents at the yard sale. So it's got all the different levels and maps and whatnot, and it still has the poster. Yo. <laughs> so that's pretty cool to have into the collection. I'm just going to leave it right there. And then I picked up a pack of game cards. I got Soul Calibur 3, a Voldo deck. It's a collectible card game. Didn't even know they made this. But, yeah, that wasn't what I paid for it. Paid about half that. So, I'll show those off in a separate video. And now, for the games. Well, one thing's before the games, actually. My Famicom to NES converter gave out on me, so I had to get a new one. So, I got this one I'm going to try out. The My Arcade cartridge converter. So, that's pretty cool. And along with that, I got some Famicom games. Alright, let's check them out. This one's got a cool little spaceship, so I'm assuming it's just some kind of shooter. I got it. Sherlock Holmes. Gyrodine. Pac-Man. Heck yeah. We got Route 16. We got Highlight 3, I think. Not quite sure what one this one is. But these guys look like they're straight out of Voltron or something. So that's pretty cool. Except for the guy who has a duck on his head. And... I got the Famicom Jump second cartridge. Got Goku on it. So that's pretty cool. So the next thing I picked up... was an NES hack called Bomberman Luigi's Fall and you play as Luigi but you're playing Bomberman because why not and this next one I picked up because we never got an American release for this game it came out on the Famicom so I got a uh, Labyrinth Check that out. Fun fact, guys. One of the last costume parties I went to in my 20s. No, the last time I dressed up, the last costume party I went to. I uh, went to my buddy Josh's house, and they were doing a Halloween thing. And I decided to be the Goblin King. Wore skin tight, leather pants, left nothing to the imagination. Teased my natural blonde hair up like I was back in the 80s with a can of Aquanet. I used my Pomeranian for pictures to be one of the little Muppets. It was pretty fun. Anyway, enough about me. I got a copy of Fax Xanadu. And I picked these next ones up at a garage sale. These were three for five bucks. So I got Austin Powers Pinball on the PlayStation 1. 
Namco Museum Volume 1 for the PlayStation 1. And Namco Museum Volume 3 for the PlayStation 1. Pretty fun. I picked up a copy of Combat Cars. Complete. For five bucks. Game Swap. Now these next three I found at a small little thrift shop here in town and I ended up paying about a buck a piece. So we got Pixar's Toy Story for the Wii, Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo for the PlayStation 2, I didn't check to see if that one was complete or not, I know the Toy Story one wasn't. And a complete copy of Guitar Hero Encore Rock of the 80s. And those are my newest video game pickups. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what was the biggest score in this set of games and uh, game accessories I picked up. Tell me down below if you played any of these. And uh, if you speak Japanese, if I don't know what those titles were, comment down below what they are. I'm lazy. I don't like looking things up. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.